back to Freedom Camping. So we're here today to give you a little bit of a overall winter, um, winterization or prep for winter kind of video. As you can see behind me here, we already have our travel trailer covered for the winter and it has already snowed here in Northern Pennsylvania. So um, certainly uh, we did go ahead and get it all prepped for the winter a couple weeks ago. Uh, however, I didn't have the availability to shoot a video at the time when I was doing it. So just want to run over a couple things for you guys today, things to keep in mind and uh, maybe things to think about when you're going to put your camper away for the winter. So certainly uh, go ahead and check out my video on winterizing your water system. That's probably going to be your number one thing that you want to do for the winter is you got to get the water out of your system. You have to put the antifreeze in. So um, with that being said, go ahead and check that video out. Um, it'll be in the, in the comments below and certainly uh, in our other videos. But some of the other big things you guys want to think about for the winter and keeping your travel trailer nice and keeping it ready for the spring is certainly take any uh, food products, spices, anything you guys might keep in there. Um, you're going to want to take all that out. Uh, you know, mice do love campers for some reason. Uh, they love to get in there and make a mess. So um, make sure you guys remove all your food or anything you have in there. Um, you want that out. Also, make sure that your freezer and your refrigerator are open. You do want the air to be able to circulate through them. Um, if there's any moisture in there at all, you will find that in the spring, then you are going to have some mold in there. So make sure you keep your, your freezer and your fridge open. Um, that's a huge, important thing to do as well. Um, certainly for us, when we store ours in the winter, <clears throat> um, we do cover it. Um, I, I am using the uh, Kingbird cover on, uh, on our travel trailer this year. Um, this is the five-ply version. Um, so far, we have had it on it for three weeks now, and it's been phenomenal. So um, I would recommend the Kingbird product um, thus far. Um, we will see in the spring, uh, you know, how it, how it held all winter. It does get extremely cold here where we're at in northern Pennsylvania, where we keep our travel trailer. So it does get extremely, extremely cold. But so far, this cover's been great. Um, some other things you certainly want to do is um, you always want to keep your wheels and tires covered as well. Um, this being obviously a brand new model, uh, UV is terrible uh, for your, your for your tires. So you want to keep them protected as well. Um, we keep our camper nice and level while it's here for the winter. And certainly we have our wheel chocks. We use the X wheel chocks as well for the winter. They're installed. Um, and then certainly everything's buttoned up. Um, I do also recommend uh, when you're getting everything ready for the winter, um, we did go ahead and we folded up our blankets and all of our pillows and things we keep in there. Uh, we did remove most of that. Um, and then we do uh, also install the damp red buckets. Um, if you guys have never seen them, you can probably get them at your, um, your Costco, your BJ's, your Sam's Club. Um, they do sell them in packs of eight. Uh, it basically, it's a decusant bead uh, system that you pour them in a bucket and it helps absorb any moisture that's going to be in your camper. Um, you definitely want to keep the inside dry uh, and moisture free. Now that's very, very good for and important for the longevity of your camper and travel trailer. So we did put them in the pass-through. There is the Ambridge in our outdoor kitchen and we have three in the inside. And so far they're working great. So um, a couple other things to keep in mind when you're prepping your travel trailer and your camper for winter. Um, before we put it away, we did do a roof wash and a roof sealant. So even though the, this travel trailer is only six months old, um, even just with six months, the roof definitely needed cleaned already. And then also we did a sealer on it. Um, it was very easy, maybe total process, about an hour and a half time frame. Um, so we did that before we put it away. And we also waxed the entire uh, travel trailer. <clears throat> it is the second time I've waxed it since we've owned it. Um, for me personally, um, I like keeping my stuff nice and clean. And certainly putting a coat of wax on it is going to keep your exterior of your travel trailer in great condition and certainly guys you're spending a lot of money on these travel trailers you want to take care of it as best as possible so you know for the 20 25 dollars that it's going to cost you for a good wax i highly 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 recommend it so certainly we waxed it removed all the things from the inside uh, put the damp rids in there and then certainly guys anything that's unnecessary that you don't need to keep in there you don't want to um, also, there are a lot of products out on the market um, between sprays and uh, baits and things of like that nature that keep the mice away from your camper. Um, given where we're at right now, we're in a very mountainous rural area where we keep our travel trailer. So mice are a concern for us. So, you know, uh, a lot of people do claim that uh, Irish Spring soap works great. I do have a couple bars of that in here. As well as I did invest the money this year in a spray. So I did spray everything touching the ground and I sprayed the underside of our travel trailer 
uh, it's supposed to keep away uh, certainly mice and chipmunks and squirrels and things, uh, you know, just other pests and rodents that, that may attempt to get in there. So I have sprayed it, um, and as long as weather permitting and I can still get to it with the snow throughout the winter, I'll probably spray it once a month just in the general overall area so the mice don't get to it. So um, also, before you guys put your travel trailer away for the winter, um, I do recommend uh, doing your slide and seal maintenance as well. You guys should be uh, lubricating your slide and working with uh, conditioning your seals. Um, I, I recommend three, four times a year. Um, certainly with our slide, I did lube all four tracks on the slide, and I did all the seals inside and out. You guys want to make sure that you do the ones on the inside, <clears throat> because when your slide goes out, those seals, of course, are compressed. So um, I recommend doing the inside seals and outside seals as well. So, um, you know, certainly that's another thing you want to do. I would really recommend that if you guys are prepping your travel trailer for the winter, you know, maybe a good one or two day, you know, pick a weekend when it's getting close to the fall season, you guys are finishing up for the year. Pick about one or two days so you can do everything to your travel trailer. Now, if you guys do it correctly and you do it well, you're going to be able to take your cover off in the spring, dewinterize it, and you guys will be right out on the road and you'll be camping in no time. So, um, you know, certainly any questions, throw them down in the comments section below. Um, I'm going to be posting a couple other videos with just some, maybe some maintenance and some tricks and some things that we do, you know, maybe to help you out. But this was a pretty good overall thing of what you're going to want to do for your travel trailers, uh, you know, just getting it ready for winter. So... Um, thanks for watching guys. Uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you soon again on freedom camping